Statuit ei Dominus Testamentum Pacis, et principem fecit eum, ut sit ili sacerdotis i dignitas in eternum. Memento Domine David, et omnis mansuetudinis eus. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, et sicur erit in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Statuit ei Dominus Testamentum Pacis, et principem fecit eum, but sit ili such as doxi dignitas in eternum. Kiri eleison, Kiri eleison, Christe eleison, Kiri eleison, Kiri eleison, Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax omnibus boni voluntatis. Ladamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, gracias agimus tibi prompta magnam gloriam tuam, Domine Deus Rex Celestis, Deus Pater Omnipotens, Domine Fili Unigenite, Jesu Christe, Domine Deus Angus Dei, Filius Patris, Quitodis Pacata Mundi, Misera de Nubis, Quitodis Pacata Mundi, Sushipe, Deprecationem Nostrum, Qui sedes ad exterum patris, et misera in abis, quoniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Jesu Christe, cum sancto spiritu, in gloria dei patris. Amen. Dominus Pobitus, Dominus Pobitus, Dominus Pobitus, Dominus Pobitus, Dominus Pobitus, Quesimus omnipotens Deus, ut beati Lorenzii confessoris tui, atque pontificis veneranda solemnitas, et de vocionem nobis augiat, 
Et salutem. Per Domino Blastum Jesum Christum Filium Tuum, qui taken vivid et regna venuditate, Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Lex Udibri Sapiensiae, et Jesa Cerdos Magnus, qui in diebus suis placui Deo, et inventus est justus, et in tempore ira cundie factus est reconciliatio. Non est inventus similis ili, qui conservabit legem ex Chelsea. Ideo, iura iurando, fecit illum dominus pressure in pebem suam. Benedictionem omnium gentium dedit ili, et testamentum suum confirmabit super caput eus. Agnovit eum in benedictionibus suis, conservabit ili misericordiam suam, et invenit gratiam coram oculis domini, magnificavit eum in conspectu regum, et dedit ili coronam gloriae, statuit ili testamentum eternum, et dedit ili sacerdotium magnum, et beatificavit illum in gloria. Fungi sacerdotio et habere laudem in nomine ipsius, et offere ili incensum dignum in odorem suavitatis. Ecce sacerdos magnus qui in diebus suis placuit Deo, non est inventus similis ili, qui conservaret legem ex Chelsea, alleluia, alleluia, tu es sacerdos in eternum, secundum ordinem Melchizedek, alleluia. Dominus Fabiscum, Sequentia Sancti Evangelii, Secunda Matteo. In ill tempore dixit Jesus, Bishopoli Suis Parabolam Hanc, Homo peregre proficiens vocabit servosos, et tradedit idis bona sua, et uni dedit quinque talenta, alii autem duo, alii vero unum, uni quique secundum propriam virtutem, et perfectus est statim, abeit autem qui quinque talenta acceparat, et operatus est in eis, et lucratus est alia quinque, similiter et qui duo acceparat, lucratus est alia duo, qui autem unum acceparat, abiens fodit in teram, et abscante pecuniam domini sui, Post multum vero temporis venit dominus savorum elorum, et posuit rationem cum eis, et accedens qui quinque talenta acceparat, ob tulit alia quinque talenta, dicens, domine, quinque talenta tradidisti mihi, et se alia quinque super lucratusum. Aet ili dominus eius. Iuge serve boni et fideris, quia super pauca fuisti fideris, super multa te constituam intra in gaudium domini tui. Accesit autem et qui duo talenta acceparat, et aiet domine duo talenta tradidisti mihi, et se aiet duo lucratus sum. Aiet illi dominus eus, iuge serve boni et fideris, quia super pauca fuisti fideris, super multa te constituam intra in gaudium domini tui. Our Mass today is being offered for the repose of the soul of James E. Porter. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. May he rest in peace. May his soul and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. 
Let us pray for vocations. O oh God, we earnestly beseech thee to bless the church with many priests, brothers and sisters, who will love thee with their whole strength, be faithful to the vocation, and gladly spend their entire lives to teach thy truths, serve thy church, and to make thee known and loved. Bless our families, bless our children, choose from our homes those who are needed for thy work. O Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us, pray for our priests, seminarians, and religious. Obtain for us many more, amen. Maria Monted Ecclesiae. A lesson from the Book of Wisdom. Behold, a great priest, who in his days pleased God and was found just, and in the time of wrath he was made a reconciliation. There was not found the like to him who kept the law of the Most High. Therefore, by an oath, the Lord made him to increase among his people. He gave him the blessing of all nations and confirmed his covenant upon his head. He acknowledged him in his blessings. He preserved him from his mercy, for him his mercy, and he found grace before the eyes of the Lord. He glorified him in the sight of kings and gave him a crown of glory. He made an everlasting covenant with him and gave him a great priesthood and made him blessed in glory to execute the office of the priesthood and to have praise in his name and to offer him a worthy incense for an odor of sweetness. A continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. At that time, Jesus spoke this parable to his disciples. A man going into a far country called his servants and delivered to them his goods. And to one he gave five talents, and to another two, and to another one, to everyone according to his proper ability. And immediately he took his journey. And he that had received the five talents went his way and traded with the same and gained other five. And in like manner, he that had received the two gained other two. But he that had received the one going his way, digged into the earth and hid his Lord's money. But after a long time, the Lord of those servants came and reckoned with them. And he that had received the five talents coming brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou didst deliver to me five talents. Behold, I have gained other five over and above. The Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant, because thou hast been faithful over a few things, I will place thee over many things, enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. And he also that had received the two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest two talents to me. Behold, I have gained other two. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant, because thou hast been faithful over a few things, I will place thee over many things, enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Thus far the words of the Holy Gospel, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You have to look up yourself what happened to the other guy. Have you ever heard anybody praying to St. Anthony? Have you ever prayed to St. Anthony? We know the answers. We pray our hearts out to St. Anthony when we lose something that we really want to find. Have you ever prayed or heard of anybody praying to St. Lawrence Justinian? Do you even know who he is? Why shouldn't we pray to St. Lawrence Justinian, our saint today, when we lose something? Would he help us find it? Why should St. Anthony do all the work? Poor man, doesn't get any rest. Wouldn't St. Lawrence Justinian ask God to help us find something as much as St. Anthony would and does? These are questions that I don't know the answer to, but maybe someday if we are interested, we will find out. In any event, it's important since the church every year has a mass in his honor, 
it's important to know a little bit about him. So St. Lawrence Justinian. In the lagoon of Venice, on the island of Alga, sits the monastery of San Giorgio, until recently a Benedictine monastery, but now an artistic monument. It was to this monastery at that time that the Augustinian canons lived there, and St. Lawrence Justinian came there in the year 1400 at the age of 19. A few months earlier, he had passed through a spiritual crisis that moved him to consecrate himself to God, and he became noted in the community for his austerities. So, here you have a 19-year-old fellow who had a spiritual crisis and decided to consecrate himself to God, and then he lived an austere life. Then, ordained to the priesthood in 1406, he was elected superior at Vicenza and then at San Giorgio. In the year 1424, he was elected general of the congregation. In 1431, he was chosen by Pope Eugene IV to be Bishop of Castello, and in 1451 became Archbishop and the first Patriarch of Venice. What impressed everyone about this priest and archbishop was his great simplicity of life and his liberality with the poor. He took care of beggars, was the friend of the rich and the poor, and showed a gen genius for apostolic works. His writings parallel his work, and he saw the secret of pastoral zeal in the pursuit of eternal wisdom. According to St. Lawrence, pastoral work is nothing more than the communication of divine wisdom, and it is from this intense center that all pastoral work flows. The substance of one's life and effort is given to the pursuit of wisdom, and apostolic activity is the overflow of this love of wisdom. In his writings, he explains the unity of his own life and the principle of his own activity. When Lawrence was 74 years old, he was struck down with fever, and as death approached, he asked to be laid on a bed of straw. The whole city of Venice came to pass in procession before him, and he insisted on having the beggars of the city come in as well. When his favorite disciple, Marcello, wept at his impending death, Lawrence said to him, quote, I'm going first, but you will follow shortly. We will meet again at Easter. And Marcello, in fact, died the following Lent. St. Lawrence Justinian died on January the 8th, 1455, but his feast is kept on the date of his consecration as bishop today. He was canonized in 1690. And our thought for the day is some people burn with a fire that seems to burn deep inside them and gives light and warmth to every life they touch. There is something about the love of God that makes a person luminous and bright, bringing joy wherever such a person goes. Some of this fire should burn in our lives too. So there are two lessons here that jump out at us. One is like, St. Lawrence Justinian, we are all to uplift people in any number of ways. Uplift people, not drag them down because we appear miserable. Uplift people and bring joy to people. And the second thing is, since St. Lawrence Justinian went out of his way and helped so many people, perhaps he can help us find something as well when we lose it.
Oremus. In veni David sergum meum, olio sancto meo umci eum, manus enum mea auxiliabitur ei, et brachio meum confortatit eum. Per omnia secula seculorum, Dominus fabiscum, sorsum corda. Gracias a Gamis, nomino reo nostro. Vere digna medistum est, ecum et salutare, nos tibi semper, adovique gracias agere, Domine Sancte Pater, omnipotens et tene deis, per Christum Dominum nostrum, per quem, Maestatem tuam laudant angeli adorant dominationes, tremen potestates celi, te lorunque vertutes acqueatus seraphim, socia exultatione cancelebant, cum quibus et nostras voces ut admiti ubias de percamor, supuci confessioni di gentes, sanctus, 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 dominus deus sabao, meni sinceli in terra gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis.
Nobis quoque peccatoribus. Per omnia, secula, seculorum, oremus, precepti salutoribus moniti, a divina institutione formati a demis dicide, paternaste quies in celis, santificeto in nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo ed in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimite nobis de vera nostra, et sicut in nos dimitibus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem. Amen. Per omnia secula seculorum, pax domini sit semper vobiscum. Agnus Dei, quid holis peccata mundi, misere de nobis. Agnus Dei, quid holis peccata mundi, misere de nobis. Agnus Dei, quid holis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem.
Dominate on some dignus. Dominate on some dignus. Dominate on some dignus. Actually, on this day, particularly for the Pakatamudi, Dominate wants to dig it with interest in half the man. So, Thompson and Verbo is not in the time of Dominate wants to dig it with interest in half the man. So, Thompson and Verbo is not in the time of the Dominate wants to dig it with interest in half the man. So, Thompson and Verbo is not in the time of the
fidelis service et prudens, quam constituit nominus, super familiam suam, ut et elis in tempore tridigi mensuram. Dominus Tomiscum, Oremus. Presta Chrysimus Omnipotens Deus, ut de perceptis muneribus gratias exibentes, intercedente Beato Lorenzio, confessori tuo, atque pontifice, beneficia potiora sumamus, per dominum nostrum Jesum Christum filium tuum, qui tecum vividit regna in unitate, Spiritus Sancti Deus, Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus Fabiscum. Ite misa es. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus. Pater, Pater, Et Spiritus Sanctus. <coughs> Dominus Fabiscum. Initium Sancti Evangelii Secundum Johannem. In principio erat verbum, et verbum erat apod Deum, et Deus erat verbum. Agerent in principio apod Deum. Omnia per ipsum facta sunt, et sine ipso factum est nihil quod factum est. In ipso vitae erat, et vitae erat lux hominum, et lux in tenebris lucet, et tenebrae am non comprehenderunt, fui homomisus ad eo qui nomen erat Ioannes, hic vedit in testimonium, ut testimonium, pehi verat de lumine, ut omnes, crederent per illum, non erat eli lux, et ut testimonium, pehi verat de lumine, erat lux vera, quae illuminat omnem hominem venientem in hunc mundum, in mundo erat, in mundus, per ipsum factus est, in mundus eum non permibit, in propria venit, in sui eum non reciparent, quod quod autem reciparent eum, dedit eis potostatem filios dei hiri, eis qui credit in nomine eus. Qui non ex sanguinibus, neque ex voluntate carnis, neque ex voluntate vidi, sed ex deo nati sunt. Et verbum, caro, factum, est, et habitavit in nobis et vidimus gloria meus, gloriam quasi unigenite a patre, plenum gratiae, et veditatis. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen. Jesus, most sacred heart of 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 Jesus
heart of Jesus. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Saint Joseph. Maria Mater Ecclesiae. 